Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What are you doing, Tesla? Those of you in the right-hand drive markets have had, who have had a Model S or X reservation will have been getting some emails from Tesla stating that they no longer will be making Model S or Model X for the right-hand drive markets. And this includes Australia, Japan and the United Kingdom as the main ones. Throughout the world, there's 161 countries with right-hand drive systems and only 75 with left-hand drive systems. So, yeah, the majority of countries drive on the right or the wrong. Depends upon your point of view, doesn't it? But here in Australia, you cannot have left-hand drive vehicles imported by companies you can get the odd one if you've owned it in another country for more than 12 months and been driving it. You can bring in a single left-hand drive vehicle. But basically, left-hand drive, illegal in Australia. So Tesla have said, I mean, they're doing the right thing after doing the wrong thing, that they'll refund all deposits, which I think was about $150 for most people. And all the reservation holders will get a $3,000 credit towards a new Model 3 or Model Y, but with strings attached. Basically, one $3,000 Australian uh, credit per reservation, and each order must be done before October this year to get the credit. So if you go and order in November, you won't get the credit. So, yeah, look, this is a first world problem, I'll agree. Um, and it's probably very annoying for the reservation holders, certainly here in Australia, because they have cancelled it. In some other right-hand drive countries, uh, Singapore, Thailand, Hong Kong, have had their Model S and X removed from the, um, the web page. It's got... Uh, keep updated there but in the UK and Japan they've gone and allowed an extra option and that is you can still order your Model S or X but it will be in a left hand drive version only it's still legal in those couple of countries but that's still very annoying I know I've driven right-hand drive vehicles from England into France and Europe. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, to be driving uh, your car from the wrong side. It does make life a bit harder. So, as you can see from these screenshots that I'll put up, the UK states it's available left-hand drive only. And the one from Japan states the same. And if you're really interested, the bottom bit in Japanese reads Nihon de no sha saharu moderu s wa subite hitaru handoru shiodes, which basically means left hand drive only. Hidari is left. So now I suppose the question is what's going to happen to the roadster and the cyber truck? It will come down to whether or not the bulkhead is built in a similar fashion to the Model 3 and why. So, as you can see, I've got this picture from Munro and Associates. You've got the Model 3 and Y has got the bulkhead where you can just put the steering wheel on the other side and change things around very easily. Uh, but the Model X and the Model S, for some reason, were not designed the same uh, so we'll have to wait until i suppose munro uh, gets an, uh, a roadster and a cyber truck and does a tear down and he will actually have a look at that and make a comment now i do doubt that they'll stop uh, model 3 and y production for the right hand drive markets i mean in australia 
just in Western Australia, at least 500 are arriving a month. Um, so they're going great there. Um, and around the whole of Australia, it's the same. The Tesla Semi seems to have a more central driving position. So if they ever make enough to get overseas, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Except here in Australia, where it's about two inches too wide to be on the roads legally. So either we're going to have to change the law or they're going to have to shrink the Semi down a fraction. So those of you who possess one of the original SNXs here in Australia, you may well see that these cars have gone and increased in price or increased in value. As far as um, parts and repairs for these older model Teslas, under Australian law, Tesla is legally obliged to be making parts available for 10 years. So some of the earlier models from 2016 are going to be okay for the next three years. I think the last lot of models that came into the country was about 2019. So they'll be all right to 2029. As for me, I didn't have a Model S or X uh, reservation, so it hasn't affected me. But I do know quite a few people that did. And I know one or two are a bit peeved. Well, there you have it. Right-hand drive, Model S and X, no longer available here in Australia. Whether at a point in the future they will be, your guess is as good as mine. I don't think it's going to happen for a couple of years. What the future holds for those cars? Well... He's probably selling enough in, in America and they've just started in China. Europe also because they're all drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Sorry. Well, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, can you click that like and subscribe button below? Helps me. Really does. And also... Make some comments below. If you've got a Model S or X reservation, what country are you in? Is it still available? And so on. Um, it will be nice to get a bit of feedback. So thanks very much. And I'll see you all very soon.